Hello, my name is Taya and I'm here to teach you a little bit about art history. In today's lecture, we will be discussing Flemish art. <laughs> Flemish art, particularly painting, flourished between the early 15th century and the 17th century. The early period, which lasted till around 1520, was considered as early Netherlandish painting and consisted of the painting of the whole area. This period was dominated by the Flemish South, but there were some important northern artists. The 1580s and onwards was covered by Dutch and Flemish Renaissance painting, specifically Antwerp, though the North and South Netherlands became politically separated by the end. Dominated by the Rubens, Flemish Baroque painting was extremely important. The term, in theory, refers to the country of Flanders and its neighbouring areas of the Low Countries, not the modern Flanders. Despite this being understood in modern Belgium, many foreign observers and writers disregard this distinction. The art of the so-called Flemish primitives popularised the use of oil paint and originated in the miniature painting of the late Gothic period. Primary artists included Jan van Eyck, Hans Memling, Hugo van der Goes, Robert Campen and Roger van der Weyden. An important source of patronage during this period was the court of the Duché of Burgundy. The Renaissance began flourishing among Flemish painters in the early 16th century, and the results were significantly different to those of the Italian Renaissance. The leading artist of the Flemish Renaissance was Peter Bruegel de Elder, who, unlike Northern Mannerists, directly avoided the Italian influence. After the Siege of Antwerp left the southern provinces of the Netherlands in Spanish rule, they were separated from the independent Dutch Republic. Many artists had fled during the religious wars, choosing to reside in the Dutch Republic rather than the Southern Netherlands. This is where Flemish Baroque painting flourished thanks to the Antwerp school. Primary artists included Rubens, Anthony van Dyck, and Jacob Jordans. When major artists such as Rubens died by 1640 and the end of the Eighty Years' War in 1648, the Flanders cultural significance had declined. In 1830, the advent of the Belgian Revolution sparked a revival of painting in the area. This period is the time most often considered when discussing Flemish art, although artists were typically referred to as Belgian instead of Flemish. Here are the most famous artists. Jan van Eyck, Peter Paul Rubens, Peter Bruegel the Elder, Dirk Bouts, Anthony van Dyck, Jan Bruegel the Elder, Jacob Jordans, Adrian Brower. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.